Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today, guys, we're gonna be talking about some news for multiverses and character updates, a whole bunch of stuff. But can we can we just appreciate how we can now upload gameplay, guys? I'm finally doing a news video <laughs> with my own gameplay in the background and not the same trailer over and over and over oh it just feels so good but before we get into the video guys if you are interested in some multiverses video then hit the subscribe button guys because we got the multiverse tips and tricks gameplays the news and updates and the esports that's going to be coming onto this channel very very soon or you know kind of some games you've been watching but i'm just talking about like tournament wise and all that stuff down the line and yeah let's get straight into the video now, guys you already know how this news thing goes it's pretty much tony talks because tony co-founder of multiverses just be chatting it up with the community man and we love to see it and let's get to our, our first um one and the first one we're gonna have is tony talking about iron giant he said we took a lot of chances with iron giant hopefully it's not too toxic we'll adjust it quickly if it is so pretty much it looks like they're getting Gi iron giant finally down pack and his move sets and his abilities but he's scaring us with saying hopefully it's not too toxic meaning Something about Iron Giant feels like it's busted or going to be too much, but we're going to see down the line when it um, happens. And I think this is smart. I think it's smart to start the character as busted and broken, keeping to its um its character, like in, from the show or TV or wherever it's from, and then working down on it's like, okay, this is a little bit busted. Let's work it down a little bit more or nerf something and balance it. You know, I think that's really smart to do. Next we have is Batman. Gave Batman an ability to cancel out of his grapple and holy shit the combos and options we're gonna have to keep an eye on this all right going to leave batman alone now guys if you don't know a while back also tony has given batman a lot of buff because this previous playtest um he was nerfed some say nerfed to the ground but i personally and a few others think that people are just not giving a chance because the combo game isn't that easy but let's just say batman is not something to, to mess around with but pretty much he has a couple of abilities that I'm not sure is in the game, but what Tony has talked about saying how in his smoke screen, um, you know, you get weakening and stuff. They're thinking about adding electricity. You're able to ignore projectiles when you're in the smoke. A whole bunch of stuff. I'm not sure it's in the game, but it's just something that you talked about. But it looks like this one is 100% confirmed. You know, Batman being able to cancel out his grapple. So we shall see what that does. But if that's being added and other stuff's being added, then my, my, my. As you can see by my comment. Batman is now going to be my main. <laughs> um, so our next thing that we're going to be talking about is actually a fan made um, talk by my boy Vando. Shout out to Vando. And he pretty much uh, was talking to Tony and said, yo, I'm a huge um, fan of Flash. And I feel like most fighting games haven't done him justice. And Tony was like, um, since you're a fan, man, I would love to hear your thoughts on him. And when I said Vando had his thoughts... He went crazy as you can see with this um, markup that he has with the ideas on the flash and it goes crazy and you know a lot of people's like yeah yeah people make their you know their fan art stuff and move sets and you know Tony always says something but Tony hasn't done this with any other character until recently and Kale pretty much asked he's like hey Tony how do you feel about the Flash um, in Multiverse? And, you know, Tony, of course, saying, you know, it would be cool to have this character, you know, stuff. No, da, 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 no promises. But what he has never done before is reference um, a fan-made um, moveset or idea to another post. So, right underneath it, he literally says, the mechanics that Vando suggested makes me excited about that possibility, though. Not confirming it. But you already know that almost any character is possible. So if they somehow get the IP for this game, we could possibly see these moves that Vando is showing, you know. And if you haven't seen it, I'll, you know, read a couple of it, which I think is pretty cool. Um, something about the after images, um, after, after images of his being his core and stuff, you know, being able to swap between AIs and do damage. I think it would be pretty cool if you were able to swap to it, do like two, three hits, and it dies, or you know, you run at your opponent, and if it hits you, then it dies instantly, like a shadow clone, or quote unquote. And then you know, something I threw in there. I was like, hey man, maybe it should be um his um neutral. Is neutral dodge, you know, because you know certain neutral dodge does something. So I think that'd be pretty cool. It does like a vibrant move and like it spawns a like 
you know, an AI quota after image. I think that would be a pretty cool idea instead of it taking one of his abilities away. But you know, who knows? Who knows? Um, next, guys, we have is um, Vando once again, actually. And he was actually talking about the early access to the open beta because if you don't know, in Playtest 2, I actually have a write up for um, a picture of it too. In the Playtest 2, uh, when it ended, they told us to sign up our Twitch to this, um, to, to the, our WB account, and then we were able to get early access to the open beta. Now, we all thought that the third test that we were getting was the open beta, but it wasn't. It actually was the closed alpha, just open without NDA. Now, we're referencing back to the open beta, and Tony says, there's some stuff we still need to figure out. Talking to WB about this, we'll get back to you. Guys, that is low-key huge. That's 100% not confirmed that it's still happening, because I totally forgot about this, but for the fact that he, um, you know, is talking about it and saying that he's going to talk to WB about it. Now, this is not 100% confirming this is going to happen still, but there is a possibility that it will because Tony, what Tony pretty much just said, you know. And sorry guys, this is going to be for the only the playtesters one and two because um, you know you had to, you had to add your Twitch, and I'm not sure even if you added your Twitch just because you wanted to, you're gonna be in. But you know we'll see when time comes when they finally give us an actual date and how it's gonna work and stuff. But that would be pretty cool to get some um, some um, you know be able to play the game earlier than some others. <laughs> and then on top of that, guys, remember if you if you link your Twitch. That could possibly mean Twitch drops? Question mark? Could be, could be, we don't know. Um, next is we have is Tony again, and he's talking about progress in the open in the upcoming open beta for multiverse will be permanent. Now guys, I said this in my last video and a lot of people did not understand this and I don't know why. But what this means is the game is gonna be in a soft la um, launch. And what this means is that the game is gonna be open beta. And whenever they decide to release the game is when they release the game. But open beta is like a soft lock as in like the game will be out. Everything that you're able to gain and purchase you will keep throughout the whole thing because the open beta is not going away. It's like Fortnite. If you play Fortnite, Fortnite dropped um, as an open beta for like a year and, and two years or something. And it finally released or whatever. It, it's just like a it's just like a repercussion saying, hey guys, there's going to be bugs and a lot of changes that's still going to happen to this game. So you can't get mad at us, pretty much. That, that's pretty much what it is. And, you know, to confirm even more that this is a soft release and literally the game is not leaving July uh, when the open beta happens is this um, answer right here is when someone said, well, we have the ability to do in-game purchases when the beta drops. And Tony says, yes. Guys, why would they allow us to buy in-game purchases if the beta is going to go away? The, the beta is not going to go away, guys. I promise you, I guarantee it. You can sue me. I will. I will donate a hundred dollars to everybody if the open beta goes away after X amount of days. I will donate millions. <laughs> but going on to the next one. Um. Again, we have Tony talking, and he says perks can only be earned by playing the game. And the reason why I threw this, um, in this video is because people really still think that you need to purchase or buy stuff characters all stuff guys the only thing that you're gonna spend your money on in this game is cosmetics and skins and taunts when it comes to the characters and the perks you do not have to spend a dime you just have to play the game and i know some people are gonna be like oh my god that means i have to grind and play hours on the game to get uh, stuff in the game uh yeah that's that's what, that's what it is you play the game and you earn stuff and then you use that to get stuff in the game if you don't want to spend your money if you or with those people that can't wait, then guess what? Then you can use your money and buy stuff. But even then, I don't think you could buy money um, with perks at all unless you're able to buy like the the currency that you earn. Unless you're able to buy that, you're gonna have to play the game to earn your perks. So sorry guys. Um, next one we have is also talking about the um characters. So if y'all don't know, don't be afraid about the whole thinking about spending money on these characters or spending a lot of time and getting these characters that you don't like or perks that you don't like because guess what in the training room you're able to play with all the characters and all the perks at any time even if you do not own them so shout out for boomer man for getting that question out and tony for answering that so that's awesome next one we have is tony and finally guys if you played in the close alpha or you watched the close alpha you know finn is mid 
And unfortunately, Finn is getting nerfed. Finn is just such a mid character. Seeing him get nerfed is just such a blessing. <laughs> if you don't get the joke, Finn was a very busted character because his frame data just was wacky versus everybody else. Everyone else has normal hit frames and you know whiffs and stuff to an extent. Finn had zero. Finn was able to hit and to hit to hit to hit to hit to pretty much an infinite. If you timed it correctly, you could probably infinite with Finn. But yeah. Um and then finally our last one we have is um a huge fake leak that Tony kinda did but did not do. And if you don't know, there's gonna be a big Evo land tournament for multiverses um coming in August. And Tony confirmed to everybody in this post saying I'm giant and other characters released after the start of open beta will not be allowed in the evil multiverses tournament so big progress for my competitive people that you know all these new characters that are dropping won't interrupt the bracket because of unbalances and you know fixes that those characters might still have but he hello did, you, did y not just hear what he just said we only knew that iron giant was going to be at the release of open beta but now tony's saying and any other characters released after the start of open beta will not be allowed other characters and not and and not any other character any other characters so that means two to three plus hello um tony uh, you want to explain that and then someone asked d-man said i understand if you can't answer but do you plan on having any new characters playable in the beta other than the iron giant and tony said maybe trying to cover my bases guys I don't want to say it's confirmed, but I'm pretty sure we're getting more than just Iron Giant on the release of Multiverses. You could take this how you want. You could take this with a Soul Green, but I'm confirming that this, we're getting at least two to three characters on on release. So giving us a, what, a, a, a starting base of like 19 to 20 characters? Huh, that's amazing. But anyways, that's it for the video, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment anything you know. I love y'all comments and replying back to y'all. And this is your first time ever watching one of my videos and you love Multiverses videos. Hello, hit the subscribe button guys, I have the gameplays, the tips and tricks, the news, the updates, the esports, everything about multiverses is going to be on this channel, and forever, and ever, and ever, and I'm out guys, peace. She got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state, moved to LA cause she wanna be famous, got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough, hard to find out.